What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have this giant painting. So I bought this giant frame. So before I show you the frame, I want to show you the painting that I painted here. And basically, none of us ever paint the edge of the canvas here. So you have these blank edges that, you know, when you step back, kind of break the illusion or the immersiveness of the painting because you have this unpainted edge there. Now, some people who paint actually just stretch the canvas, paint over it, and then stretch the canvas around the wood. So sometimes, you know, there is painting on the edge, but not in my case. Just uh, something to slap together to be consumer friendly and hang on the wall. And so hiding that edge with a frame makes a ton of sense. And that's really one of the big reasons I get this. It just kind of finishes it off. Uh, here's another painting that I painted. And I had this one professionally framed and it hides the edge and just makes it look, you know, much better. But this is actually a new type of frame that I've never used before. It's called a floating frame. And the reason it's called a floating frame is you can see this outer piece is the, the out, most outside edge. But then it kind of steps down and has this inner piece. And that's actually going to be visible when you're looking head on. Because this lower piece right here is where the canvas actually sets into. And so it's going to actually be recessed. And the canvas is only going to come up to this far. So you'll see some of the frame kind of deep in there and then the frame there. So if I were to go to this edge, you could probably still see a little bit of that unpainted canvas. But what you're doing is you're really finishing off, you know, the obvious visible edge. Now, the other thing I really like about this frame is it's the reclaimed barn wood. And it's got great texture. It's very three-dimensional. Looks like there's even some old paint in there. Feels great. And it's got a little bit of a gray look to it. I mean, more gray than brown, but there's kind of some streaks of brown. It's kind of like old gray hair. But it's really, really cool. I really love that look. And I think it'll go well with my motif. Um, and usually <laughs> the reclaimed wood, even though sometimes they get them for free, uh, from old barns that are being torn down is kind of expensive. Now that's where I really love this frame before we get it in here because, uh, you know, when I take something to get framed, kind of like that other painting, that's like 600 bucks, but it comes all done. I ordered this frame online and with shipping, uh, the shipping was expensive because you can see here it was assembled. I didn't expect that. So the frame was only like 200 bucks, but the shipping was like another 150 or something like that. So it, I'm still better off than taking it to get uh, framed because it's still going to cost me less out of pocket. But to be honest, I didn't expect them to do all this. I actually thought they were going to cut it to the right sizes, send uh, the little elbow brackets and have me kind of glue and screw it all together. But obviously because it comes in this ginormous box, that was all set up. Now, I actually added on because the shipping doesn't continue to skyrocket. You know, for another 50 bucks, I was able to get a second frame, you know, at a separate cost for this frame, to frame another canvas that I never had framed. And so I thought I'd just do them all at the same time. Now, this lower le level piece here looks like wood, but it's not necessarily that reclaimed barn wood. It's like more like an MDF. This is not going to be visible. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the canvas in here, set it inside. I obviously measured mine before I sent the dimensions. And then you kind of use some screws to screw through the back here. I'm going to want to uh, put the canvas in place, kind of put everything face down. I'll probably use some of the cardboard to do it. Doing a little dry fitting here just to see what it looks like. And it's going to be awesome. Uh, the canvas is actually going to be pretty uh, level with this. It's just going to be a little recessed. Obviously, you can see the edge there, but I love the look of that color. I've got yellow lights going on that uh, kind of warm white, so color representation in here isn't going to be great. And obviously, this is floating a little bit because I've just got it on the ground, but I just wanted to dry fit it before I flip it over, uh, screw those holes in, just make sure everything is going to fit, and then uh, screw it all together and then rehang it back up. So I think that looks great. Man, it's cool. It's cool wood. All right, we'll get her done. All right, I flipped everything face down. I think that's going to be easiest. Canvas down, frame on top of it. So to attach everything, I ordered these offset clips. I actually got them in a variety of sizes, but this 3 8 since it seems to be the right thing. And now, actually what I can do, because there's plenty of uh, framing material behind the canvas here, I think I can just put a screw through uh, the bottom to the uh, the painting itself, and then that'll kind of clamp the frame in place here. So I'm going to screw some in here and see if we can get this sucker mounted. So I also found in the box, it comes with those uh, offset hooks as well as a wire kit. And I used it here 
And as you can see, man, it just makes it look so much more finished. Frame always does, you know, it's kind of the finishing touch. It's like working on restoring your car and then doing the paint. It always is one of those things where finally it comes together and it pops. Now, like I said, in this case, because the canvas is almost the same height as the edge, you can uh, see the unfinished edge there. But and I actually really like these floating canvas frames because you can kind of see the depth of the canvas, right? It doesn't it's it's obviously not just a print when the frame overlaps with the edge. Sometimes it can look like a glycy. Is that what they call them? A glycy or a print or something like that. So it kind of shows that this is truly done on canvas. And I love that barn ward look. So I tell you what, I didn't get this one on Amazon. I got it on uh, a website directly from this frame place. So I will put a link to it in the description below if you want to pick it up. Well, what they do is they send you the whole frame, bulk shipped or freight shipped, uh, already assembled, so it's really the best way to go. Uh, link in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.